penalties apply whatsoever for non-payment or non-registration until March the 31st. So as an absolute minimum, even if there are people who are a little bit worried, certainly nobody should be thinking about registering or paying in advance of the 31st of March. You get no benefit for it, and by doing that, you strengthen the government's hand. And that's a key message that we want people to bring out from this meeting, because these meetings are about, for every person here who talks to another five people, they talk to another five people, and suddenly now we have a campaign which is in the, the every corner of uh, the, the uh, country. What happens after March 31st? Now, the government would like you to think that on post will be going into overdrive, lashing out fines for everybody, two and a half thousand euros, euros for every person who hasn't registered at that stage. Again, that is a complete and utter lie. It cannot happen like that. After the 31st of March, they have a whole number of other problems to deal with then. And they have a particular problem if a significant majority of people have refused to register. Because first of all, they have to find you. Who are you? Who is the homeowner? There's been all this talk about using ESB and revenue commissioner's records and all the rest, but your loads of tenants are, have ESB accounts and so on. It's very, very limited. And the Data Protection Commissioner has said that while they can use third party information, only as the last resort and only in very limited circumstances. So they have to find out who we all are. Then they have to bring us to court because they can't do anything without bringing it to court. And as a man stood up at a meeting in Dublin with me the other night and said he works in the court system, the court system is already seizing up overburdened, way behind on the cases that are already in there, and they don't have the staff, there's a public sector recruitment embargo, so they can't hire other people to clear the backlog or anything, and the idea of putting in tens of thousands of ordinary decent pensioners and PAYE taxpayers into that mess is just totally and utterly unworkable, and it's a politically dynamite as well, should they seek to do that when not a single banker or politician has ended up in jail or fined or anything like that. Can you imagine? You can imagine, we used to do it in Dublin with the water charges campaign, the pledge we made to people, which is the same this time round, is that we know and we understand there's 1.8 million households at best, they can only bring a tiny minority of people before the courts. And they'd be hopeful to make an example of those people to frighten everybody else. And the way in which we respond to that is that those people become heroes, if you like. They're the ones who go in on the shoulders of everybody else with their friends and families and neighbours outside with legal representation from the campaign in there. We defend the cases, drag them out and make the system un unworkable. And by doing that, we can make any threats that they have unworkable and we can make this charge uncollectible and that's really the battle over registration and we are saying to people is let's look at it encourage people to hold out as long as you can and by and towards the end of March we can show you that the majority of people at that stage will have undoubtedly uh, refused to register we hope uh, at that stage and even if they haven't the battle uh, goes on because it will be very very difficult for them to pursue everybody. They also have other penalties in the legislation which are not really relevant at this stage but whereby penalties for late payment and late interest arise as well but it's, it's insubstantial stuff really it would mean if you refuse to pay by the end of this year technically you'd owe them 142 euros instead of 100 euros, but sure, if they can't get 100 out of you, they can't get the 142 out of you. They can't get that out of you without bringing it to court. How will they get you into court with the ones they're trying to get in with the registration, not to mind the junkies and the drunk drivers and all the rest of it as well. So it's actually not that easy for them to do that. This is based on fear and intimidation on their part. And we answer that by solidarity and people coming together and, if you like, demonstrating that we're the majority and we're the ones who are going to stand up against this injustice. So what we want really from tonight is we want people to join the campaign. You will have heard that there's a membership of the campaign, a five euro charge. That's for two reasons. One, this battle is going to cost a lot of money. We've produced masses of material. There's window posters, car stickers. There's a newsletter coming out this week with all of the information. Uh, I think there's about a half a million copies of that produced. There are about 10 counties where the campaign is quite weak. So all the other areas where the campaign is strong, 
we've organised big county-wide meetings with big posters, vans going down to build those meetings. All of that costs money. The campaign has a hotline number, 1890-989800. That's there to answer all of the queries that people have, but because it's an 1890 number, they charge you more for it, as in the campaign more for it, not the people ringing the number. And again, all of that costs money. That's why we have a membership, to demonstrate that we're serious, we're building a serious campaign to take these, this government on, and to do that, we need funds. And I think the membership as well gives people a sense of belonging and part of something. So we do encourage people uh, to join up for that and uh, take a membership card. The lads have the stuff on the table here and down the, the back or at the side as well. We also have window posters and car stickers. And I know Dermot and some of the lads have been going out door to door with them. I believe some people kind of put them aside with the Christmas decorations, didn't quite get the window posters up after taking them. We hope now that people have them, or if you've forgotten about them, to take them and put them up on your porch or on your car. It is important because it'll give you a sense of confidence, it'll give your neighbours confidence going around, and it is uh, very, very important that we would uh, do that. In February, the government is going to bring out a leaflet threatening fire and brimstone uh, all sorts of penalties, well I've just outlined them to you, it won't be any different than that, but, um, but threaten people with what will happen if you don't register and you don't pay. We need to be in a position to respond to that, to get information, leaflets out, materials, probably organise big meetings again, but this time with the politicians called to account. Uh, in that regard as well. So we need people to be active in the campaign. There's a membership or an attendance sheet going around. We'd ask people to leave your details. If you've got an email, write your email address clearly so we can make it out. We'd like you to take that you'd be willing to help the campaign. There's a lot of people here have been doing a lot of work, but we need more people if we're going to be uh, effective to spread the word. And I would ask people to indicate on that. So that's really to set the scene. The message we're saying to people, and it is the truth, that thousands of people have already attended meetings on this issue, you know, two and a half weeks into January. The length and breadth of the country. There are about eight other weeks left to the registration date. If we can bring a significant number of people unregistered to that March 31st date, then we are on our way to really give this tax a kicking. And one thing we want people to remember is... We don't know what the outcome will be. We don't know. We can't make people promise. We promise. Our promise is that we'll fight this to the end. Will we be successful? We don't know if that's the case. But the one thing we are absolutely guaranteeing you, that if a battle and a campaign is not waged on this issue, we will be facing household property and water taxes of 12 to 1400 euros per year by 2014 and that's a battle we think is worth fighting on and we'd really ask all of you to get on board tonight in that regard. So that's really it from our end here. We'd like to open it up to the floor for any questions or comments that people would have.